After more than a decade of wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, less than 1% of Americans have answered the call to serve overseas. This fraction of our population has sacrificed time, comfort, and lives for us. Almost all who serve have a new battle coming home. Staggering rates of unemployment, homelessness, mental illness. And because of this adversity, we lose 22 veterans to suicide every day. And this is beyond what you see in the news or what you hear on the radio. These are people all around us, silently dealing with these issues. Odds are you know a veteran, and if you don't, someone you know has definitely had their lives influenced by one. So check it out. This reality doesn't have to be tragic. These people have built nations and they've restored communities. They put their lives on the line to fight for justice and to free people from oppression. Their actions alone show that veterans are a valuable resource to our nation back home. Now, I've never served in the military, but my brother from another, Chris, served three combat deployments across Iraq and Afghanistan. He's lived these experiences, and since his return, he's dedicated himself to connecting his returning brothers with their community at home. His project is called Growing Veterans, and with your help, we can turn this adversity into strength. So pick up Still There, co-written by myself and Chris for $2 today at growingveterans.org. All proceeds will go to Growing Veterans. Find out more at weaver.fm.